you just in time for happy hour. Get ready for your night to turn sour. A cat fight wants your way to the bar. As a couple has sex on your car. There's homeless men asleep in the boots. And floozies with nothing to lose. Just another night of Buster's Corral. And the whole night's upside down. Just another night of Buster's Corral. And I don't see you making it out. No, I don't see you making it out. No, I don't see you making it out. I don't care what the critics say. Don't worry, darling, it's a hell of a movie. That Harry Styles can act his ass off. Greg Bibbsy, what a fortuitous surprise to see your ass swinging back at this elegant establishment. Oh, great. It's Delmer, the deranged, depraved, debauched, demoralized, drunken derelict. In the flesh. How is it you stay so drunk? I never see you drinking or with a beverage in hand. What, do you just wake up with a lethal blood alcohol content? I'm wasted on life. I didn't know life could make you smell like vodka, diarrhea, and blood. Well, my nutsack smells like your mama's breath. How do you like that? Gee, I'm going to need to talk to my mama about lowering her standards. How it swinging, cowboy. Not your way unless I'm looking for some warts to keep my dick company. Very funny. I'll have you know my shit is spotless. But you can leave all that work business to rest. Oh, excuse me. Join me over at my booth and sing me one of your songs. How many times must we go through this, Florida? You know I'm a married man. No, you're not. Callie Jeffers told me Darlene left your ass. Callie Jeffers doesn't know what she's talking about. Hey, Florida. Oh, hey, Delmer. You may not have noticed, but I'm on the market myself. That's wonderful, Dalmer. I'll let you know if I find any prospective buyers. So what do you say, Craig Dipsy? You gonna bring some music in my life with one of your love ballads? I don't mean to offend, but I'm just not interested. Is it, Darlene? That no good wife of yours still rattling around in your head? You know... You can rattle around in my head. I wouldn't rattle around in a goddamn pig pen with you. You keep my wife's name out your mouth. That's the mother of my children you're talking about. Now I told you my ass wasn't DTF. Now you can go on, get it. You're lost, baby. No doubt your songs would have hit higher notes after I got done with you. <laughs> Could you believe her running her mouth off like that? Everything all right, Delmer? They never go for me. What's that? Women. They never go for me. Oh, you're worried about Florida? Don't get bent out of shape over her. Trust me, you don't want no part in that. Might end up with a damn slug crawling out your prick. Don't tell me what I want no part of. That Florida. She's beautiful. I see her every night shaking that country kitchen ass and them acid wash jeans to a George Strait song. She's the lone rose in the wasteland that is Buster's Corral. A lone rose? Sure you're not thinking about her face being flushed from sucking down all them gin and tonics? Now don't you talk disparagingly about her. She's my precious angel. Then get up and go tell your precious angel how you feel. I can't. Why's that? Cause I'm me. It's been that way my whole life. Women see me, they look for what's on the other side of the space I take up. Oh, come on. I'm sure there was a pretty gal or two who gave you a chance. Yeah. One time this chick actually asked me to go home with her. The question alone was almost enough to make me cream my britches. We made it to her place, slipped out of our rags. She went down, but I couldn't get up. Oh, brother, it's one of these stories again. She felt bad for me, so she showed me some porn off her phone, thinking it would help. Well, there you go. It was gay porn. 
Oh. Experiences like that's enough to make you feel like you're not even a man. Can't blame you for feeling that. But I got a little saying that always helps me when I get a long face about the past. Yesterday isn't forever. Isn't that really true? Sure. Unless you kill somebody and you're serving double life, I'd say yesterday you probably shouldn't have done. What if it's too late? Well, the only person who can make that call is you. Decide. Is it too late for you, Delmer? Thank you, Craig. I appreciate you. Oh, think nothing of it. Tell you what, how about I buy you a drink? Ah, oh, no. No can do. No, seriously, it'd be my pleasure. No, really, I can't. Why's that? I'm cut off. 